Of the hundreds of millions of contactors purchased each year, the overwhelming majority are replacement for failed contactors. Electricians, HVAC technicians, and engineers have always known that the number one cause of contactor failure is contact arcing, but few of them had witnessed the destructive forces of arcing firsthand. Today we'd like to share a video demonstration of what goes on inside your power contactors each time they complete a cycle. We think you'll be surprised by the damage that arcing inflicts on contact surfaces even after just a few cycles. We also believe that you'll be impressed by the powerful, protective ability of no-spark arc suppressors. These patented, solid-state devices suppress at least 99.9% .9 of the contact arcing energy, which keep your contact surfaces looking new and enables your power contactors to last at least 10 times longer. This demonstration had four primary goals. Use high-speed video to capture the power of contact arcing as it happens. Reveal the damage that contact arcing causes. Show how no-spark arc suppressors protect contact points and greatly extend the lives of power contactors. And show how no-spark arc suppressors can suppress the arcing generated by an arc welder. We chose to use an arc welder because its inductive load is similar to the load profiles of many motors and compressors. Here's how we structured this demonstration, beginning with the following key components. One Hobart arc welder, one robust Fuji three-phase power contactor, one universal GG XAC 1F480 no spark arc suppressor, and one Fastec TS3 high-speed video camera. Our demonstration plan called for using one leg of this contactor to demonstrate how no spark suppresses arcing energy, the opposite leg to demonstrate the destructive ability of unsuppressed arcing, and the middle leg to serve as a reference contact, which would only be subjected to the mechanical forces of the cycling contacts with no current passing through them. In phase one, we connected our single phase no spark arc suppressor across one leg of the power contactor and then connected the arc welder directly into the same leg. We set the arc welder at 235 amps, the maximum allowable current rating of our no spark arc suppressor. We then set up our high speed camera and ran the contactor through the following contact cycles one cycle plus 10 additional cycles, plus 100 additional cycles, plus 1,000 additional cycles, for a total of 1,111 cycles, all of them suppressed by a no-spark arc suppressor. We captured video of the contact cycles, and after each waypoint, we shot close-up images of the contact surfaces. In phase two of our demonstration, we removed the no spark arc suppressor and connected the Hobart arc welder directly into the opposite unused leg of the power contactor. We left the Hobart arc welder at the same 235 amp setting and ran the contactor through the same number of operations. One cycle, plus 10 additional cycles, plus 100 additional cycles, plus 1,000 additional cycles for a total of 1,111 cycles, this time without arc suppression. As you can see, the difference in contact damage between suppressed and unsuppressed arcing is dramatic. To take you through the results of the demonstration is Reinhold Hanke, co-founder and chief technology officer of Arc Suppression Technologies. I wanted to do this thing ever since we started this company, show the world that our arc suppressor we designed can suppress the arc of an arc welder. We finally got the power up. We got to immense power on the arc suppressor. And now I decided to just, let's, let's just get a big arc suppressor that can handle 235 amp. And just run those two wires, the tool wire and the stick wire, right into the contactor. Let the contactor pound away. And that's what I wanted to show, that this product is so robust, it can handle an arc welder directly. We have an A and B test. We run tests arc suppressed, and we run tests unsuppressed. There's an arc species zoo in a single contact cycle. 
And our arc suppressor is designed to handle each one of them. 1,111 hits on that contact. Unsuppressed and suppressed. Suppressed. We just didn't see any arcs and the contact stayed as pristine and clean as the reference contact. That fact was awesome. Then what was even more awesome in my mind was to see how the contact looks when we take the arc suppressor away. We run the arc welder straightly into the contacts of the contactor and we let them have it. Once, boom, and it was a fire spitting dragon that we were looking at. This thing threw flames all over the place. It was melting the metal. It was throwing shrapnel. The surfaces look like burnt marshmallows. They also look like the surface of the moon. But when you look at them with arc suppressed means, they look like they can run 10 million cycles. And they just about will. In this video, you've witnessed the power of contact arcing and the cycle by cycle destruction that it inflicts on contact points. Perhaps most importantly, you've also discovered the universal no spark arc suppressor, a proven, patented means of suppressing 99.9% .9 of contact arcing energy. By suppressing this energy, you'll also extend the electrical lifetime of your power contactors by 10 times or more. No spark ended the violent arcing of a 235 amp arc welder. And if it can do that, it will certainly protect the contacts that operate your motors and keep them looking new for a very long time. Learn more about arcing and no spark arc suppressors at arcsuppressiontechnologies.com.